So there I was, just a couple of days ago, bored, depressed, alone, all so very alone, when I stumbled upon the news about Hell Let Loose's Update 8, and I started to read. Today, we're sharing even more Update 8 content, including... Unit designation, hurt gen forest overhaul, supply and transport, trucks, trucks, trucks. Now, a lot of you are probably asking yourself, wow, Boogie, what's the big deal? It's a truck, kind of like a tank, except without a big ass gun on top of it. Who really cares? And I say to ye, woe to ye, simpleton. Oh, ho, 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 quite the contrary. I mean, I really can't believe I'm not seeing more people talking about this. So, I'm going to make a video about it. Right now, Hell Let Loose is early in development. People tend to call it more of an arcadey shooter of the Milsim genre. And that's fair and all to say. But, do know that as more and more assets are added to the game, the more and more the game will have to be played as the milsim it's destined to be. I personally have been waiting what feels like years for the developers to add transport trucks. And here we are, right around the corner. I don't think most people understand how the entire meta of the game is really going to change when these transport and logistical trucks are added to the game. Not only are you going to be able to get troops and supplies quickly around the battlefield, but it's going to open up flanking maneuvers and really just speed up the overall gameplay experience, making it that much more of an action-packed game. Not only will this one little asset make the overall game that much more dynamic, but you'll also be finding yourself in crazy, immersive, and epic situations like this one. Now I know these trucks have been in the development oven for quite a while now, and one can only wonder what exactly they have in store for us. Is it going to be like actual animations getting in and out of the truck? Is there going to be realistic physics, like for instance when driving over snow you kind of get a little more squirrely with the tires, when driving on the road it's kind of responds better is there going to be armor penetration can you get shot when you're in the truck or could you even press control to duck down and hide behind the walls of the truck there are so many answers that need answered i personally will be watching these dev briefs like a hawk i mean beyond the transport trucks the whole how's the whole logistical system going to work I would imagine that these Logi trucks are going to have supplies on them. Is it going to be just one drop off and you got to go back? Or well, I'd love to see that they had maybe three sets of supplies, you know, so they could go to so many different squads, drop off supplies before they have to return all the way back to Maine to, you know, rearm, resupply. I don't know, man. Big things popping. I don't think the Hell Let Loose community knows, like, how drastically the meta of this game is about to change. I mean, it's not only is it going to change the gameplay up, but it's going to demand more team cohesion, more communication, which is great. That's probably Hell at Loose's biggest problem as far as the community goes, is, you know, a lot of new players probably, and just a lot of people without mics, but that's the biggest problem so far is just the non-communication. And yeah, I understand a lot of people say, oh, you know, I may not respond, but I'm following orders, and that's good and great and all, but, you know, we need contact reports, you know, we need sit rep situation reports. We need, you know, it just adds to the game. It really does. When everybody's talking and doing their job, it really makes the game that much better. And I bet when that truck is pulling around the corner and about almost out of view, I bet you're going to turn your little mic on and say, hey, wait for me. <laughs> so every little bit, every little asset that is added to this game is just demanding more and more from the player. It's demanding you work with your team. It's demanding you communicate. And as more and more assets are added by the developers, the more and more Hell Let Loose will become the freaking Milsim it was destined to be. And by golly day, when I chipped in my little bit to kickstart this whamma jamma, I remember reading 
that this was destined to be a proper military simulator, not an arcade game. Now, it is just absolutely beyond me how that actually ruffles people's feathers, but for some reason it does. But I don't care. Alright, dudes, that's it. Come through the Boogie 5 Gaming Etc. Discord. Submit your indie shooter clips for a chance at prizes. I'm eventually going to get like a top 10 going. And uh, also, if you're looking for a realism unit, be sure to check out Easy Company. Oh, and if you play Postscriptum, right at the top right of your screen, click that. I've made two virtual mission briefings so far. I want you to check it out and let me know what capture point or section of map I should do next. And I just made a Postscriptum Tutorial Guides playlist. Be sure to check that out.